It's only the middle of January, and I'm as busy as the proverbial one-armed paper hanger. I'm multitasking, texting, meeting, driving, scrambling to get it all done. And not without some complaining, either. And my wife will ask, but are you having fun? And I will answer without hesitation, yes. If you had to choose between having too little to get done and too much to get done, which would you pick? Workplace psychologists agree that busy people, really busy people, are generally happier than those who don't have enough on their plate. But that idyllic scenario of the beach with nothing but the small waves lapping in and me sipping on an umbrella drink, well, that often seems like the way to go if I had my choice. No deadlines, no client meetings, no phone calls, no rally on the horizon, no responsibilities. I seem to be pretty average when it comes to the research, too. Quiet, alone time seems to be desirable. Yet, most report they get pretty bored with being bored pretty fast. That's me. It turns out, at least in Western civilizations, having nothing to do eventually becomes more stressful than having too much to do. And normally leads to mild depression, feelings of lowered self-worth, and such. Research shows that we are a purposeful species. I once owned a delightful border collie and was told to keep him busy or he'd find things to keep himself busy. Oh, how right they were. Border collies are a working breed and they're bred to herd things. Ours herded kids, toads, crows, anything he could find, just to stay busy. When those stimuli weren't available, he chewed up couch cushions. Over the past 30 or so years, my time off approach has changed. I used to take a week break doing the umbrella drink scenario. Nice beach, Caribbean music, nothing on my calendar. And I got confused when I became terribly anxious after about two to three days. So now when we take a break, I arrange a couple of down days mixed in with activities, driving, skiing, or some other box I can check while taking a break. Time off the treadmill is nice. Recharge the batteries, adjust perceptions, reboot. But I think I need something to herd pretty much constantly. While not always satisfied that I got everything done to my standards, the pursuit of those tasks, meetings, responsibilities, contributes greatly to my level of happiness. You? It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.